Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today we are going to be cleaning out these hairbrushes and combs. As you can see here, they are looking real disgusting. Like, look at all that buildup right in there. This is looped because I used to have hair extensions. The, the brush still works. I no longer have the extensions. So if you're ever curious, like, what kind of hairbrush is that? We got a bunch of my kids' stuff right here. I tend to do this about every three months or so. So this is a three-step process. Super, super simple. First, we're going to get all the hair out. Make sure that you stay until the end because I'll show you probably the most important step of all of this, especially when it comes to cleaning and sanitizing your brushes much like your shed your skin which is often all over your furniture i know that's disgusting to think about it but it's absolutely true same thing applies to your hair brushes so you want to make sure that you're killing any bacteria that's housed within here so let's get into it So I got most of the initial hair out right here and this comb, the end of it, this little part right here really helped, like I would recommend that. You can see the white stuff back in here. This is probably hair products and whatever disgustingness. You'll also notice there's quite a bit of like fuzz. Let's see if the camera can pick it up. Do you guys see like the fuzz in there? So the next step that we do, I'm hoping is going to eliminate a big chunk of that because I don't want to spend a ton of time like digging in here. Like I could get my nail down in there and getting all that up and pulling it up. But this channel is all about making things quick, easy, efficient, and getting our goal accomplished. So let's move on to step two. I have already cleaned and sanitized this sink. So have no fear, my friend. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up just enough so I can get all of these uh, hair items submerged in warm water and then I'm just gonna use this baby shampoo that I have laying around to help clean everything out and hopefully get the remaining pieces of these lint gone. Now that these are all submerged in here, I'm just gonna let them sit for maybe two to three minutes or so. We'll come back, rinse them off, and then we'll move into our final step, the most important step, if you're gonna do any of this right here. Of course, it's nice to get all the hair out of it, but if you actually wanna really clean your brush, I'll show you that. Now everything has essentially been degreased, which is absolutely awesome. Now I do go in and clean out the hair. I don't know, I'm probably about every week is when I actually think about doing that. I let it accumulate a little bit more than usual, especially for this video, because I wanted you to see a pretty good transformation. But you wanna make sure you don't let any hair go down the sink. So what I did is any remaining hair that was left in here, I just put right here on the side of this towel, which is really nice. If you had microfiber, that would probably be even better because microfiber is super sticky and would really grab those hair particles. Um, I can see one little piece of hair right here. And then you can see the lint is all gone, which is really nice. Last step, most important, if you're gonna do anything here, this is rubbing alcohol. I love this because it sanitizes and it dries quickly. You wanna sanitize these hairbrushes right here because there's lots of bacteria that likes to grow, especially if you um, brush your hair when it's wet, breeding ground. <laughs> wet stuff is a breeding ground for bacteria, basically. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and and then most people probably put their brush like in a dark area like a drawer right dark and wet <laughs> definitely can grow lots of stuff so i just really spray these down generously i'm gonna flip them around as well and then i'm just gonna let them air dry again the alcohol is nice because it dries quickly relatively quickly compared to other things and now rest assured it has been de-haired it has been degreased and now it is being de-germed. All right, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, lots of goodies in the description box below, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.